Do you remember the first time we saw Mars? We're looking at Mariner 4 today on Vintage Space. The Mariner program began in 1960 as a series of JPL-based missions to use small satellites to explore our planetary neighbors, Mars and Venus. The idea was to use versions of the same spacecraft and launch them frequently on the soon-to-be-available Atlas vehicles. Another piece of the puzzle was JPL's Deep Space Instrumentation Facility, what we now know as the Deep Space Network. This was already a global network of ground stations designed to communicate with spacecraft deep in space. The first mission in the program was Mariner 1, intended to be a Venus flyby mission, but it never left the Earth. Just 293 seconds after launch, the booster performed an unscheduled yaw lift maneuver and the range safety officer destroyed the vehicle. Mariner 2, on the other hand, was a stunning success. It became the first spacecraft to visit another planet, flying by Venus and gathering data in 1962, and it remains in heliocentric orbit today. Mariner 3 was the first mission designed to go to Mars, but it failed when the shroud covering the spacecraft failed to separate. So Mariner 4 went in its footsteps, and this one did some amazing things. On November 28th of 1964, Mariner 4 launched successfully on an 8-month voyage to Mars. The spacecraft made its closest encounter with the Red Planet on July 14th of 1965, taking the first ever photographs of the surface. Compared to the standards of the day now, the pictures returned from Mariner 4 aren't that great. They show some lunar-looking craters, but not a lot of surface variety. They may not look like much, but they are the first ever pictures taken of Mars, and they're pretty phenomenal for that reason alone. Mariner 4 was expected to last about 8 months, but instead it persisted for 3 years, going into solar orbit and taking solar data and communicating with Mariner 5, which was later launched to Venus. The Mariner program on the whole was a stunning success so early on in the space age, and the pictures, though they don't look like much, are really incredible. I've got a gallery up on the latest article on Vintage Space, so be sure to check that one out. And there's also a really interesting historical bookend with this mission. New Horizons is the first dedicated mission we have ever sent to Pluto, and on July 15th, just one day after the 50th anniversary of those first pictures of Mars from Mariner 4, we are going to get the first ever close-up pictures of Pluto's surface. It's kind of a nice bookend to the beginning and end of discovery of the classical solar system as most of us grew up with, and it's opening a whole new era of exploration of Kuiper Belt objects. So guys, go over to Vintage Space on Popular Science and check out that gallery of Mariner images, then come back and tell me how you feel about these first ever images of Mars. They may not be as beautiful as what Curiosity brings back, but don't they evoke something in you in that they're the first ever images of another planet? Let me know in the comments below, and of course leave your questions and ideas for future episodes below as well. Be sure to follow me on Twitter for daily Vintage Space content and a lot of great pictures. And with episodes going up every Tuesday and Friday, subscribe right here so you never miss an episode.